In one of my previous videos, we have seen that two resistors connected in series produces a total resistance that is the sum of their individual resistance. If these two resistors individually have 100 ohms, their total resistance is 200 ohms. Now that's pretty straightforward. But what do you think would happen if I connect these two resistors now in parallel? Here's a hint for you. Think about what happens when you drink a glass of water with two plastic straws instead of one. When connected in parallel, their total resistance drops significantly. And that is because, by connecting the resistors in parallel, the circuit now has more branches for the currents to flow through. In fact, the total resistance in a parallel circuit is always less than the smallest of the individual resistance. Instead of using these two resistors with 100 ohms each, I swap one of them out for an 82 ohm resistor. Then the total resistance must be less than 82 ohms. If you are studying for GCSE physics, this is all you need to know about resistors in parallel. But if you are an A-level student, you will need to know the equation for calculating total resistance of resistors in parallel. The equation goes like this. 1 over R is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Capital R is the total resistance in the circuit, R1 is the resistance of the first resistor, R2 is the resistance of the second resistor. If you have more than two resistors in parallel, you will then have R3, R4, R5, etc. For this circuit, 1 over R is equal to 1 over 82 plus 1 over 100. So 1 over R is equal to this fraction. In order to find R, I must flip this fraction by doing 1 divided by the fraction. This gives me R, which means that when these two resistors are connected in parallel, their total resistance is 45 ohms. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.